saw us presented my case. I'm leaving you so much after what you've just said. You'll forget it. Hello, Hello love. For over 30 years, Blanche Hunt has put the world of Weatherfield to rights. Bang! The same. Oh. Yeah, with a sharp tongue. Oh, oh get over. Gossiping ways. Oh, she loves a drama, that gale. And blunt put-downs. You stark staring bonkers. She entertained millions. I hope it's not going to keep up a racket. There's an Agatha Christie on at five past. Blanche was the epitome of uh, one of those cantankerous old people who are just brutally honest. Do you think Ken wants to stare at thongs all day? The man's an intellectual. She's fearless of people. She was completely and utterly unafraid of anybody. I might be old, but I'm not deaf or stupid. Devilish. Good looks are a curse. You and Ken should count yourselves very lucky. Magnificent. Come at the hour, Deirdre. Come at the woman. Come at Blanchard. Maggie Jones died in December 2009. We shall miss Maggie. Deeply. And now Coronation Street fans have also said goodbye to Blanche. I thought nobody could stand me more. You know better than that, love. Over the next half hour, with a little help from her friends, we'll pay tribute to Maggie Jones and one of the street's most popular characters ever. 1974, and Maggie Jones's first appearance as Blanche Hunt. Mr Langton. The one and only. I'm Deirdre's mother. I've got something for you. Well, you should have been by right from the start, hours. Blanche was a force to be reckoned with. When you deserve sympathy. That night, he were as sick as a cat on bad cockles and stale beer and spent the rest of the holiday in bed. Maggie may have made her debut as Blanche, but she was already no stranger to Weatherfield's famous cobbles. Of course, Maggie's first appearance uh, on the street was uh, totally different character. Hey, it's your first time, isn't it? She said, I played a policewoman. She said, I must have been a lousy policewoman because the next time I came back, I was a shoplifter. <laughs> Tell them you lost your memory. I beg your pardon. Oh, I got away with pounds of stuff in the early days with that tail. Maggie Jones was born in London in 1934. She married barrister Joe Stansfield in 1971, a marriage that lasted until his death in 1999. Well, of course, Maggie had done loads of stuff before she ever got into the street. Maggie Jones trained at RADA, appearing in many stage plays before making her mark in television oh, Lord, I forgot what as Polly Barraclough in the mining drama Sam and in other shows like the detective series Bullman. I watched most of these characters sort of echoing in Blanche, especially that, that glint in her eye and a slight smile. I loved writing for Blanche. The last producer used to take the mick out of me because I used to add it to every single um, episode I used to write because I just found her so funny. You're remarkably chipper, trod on a snail, just thinking of yourself as usual. About time, too. For 20 years, Blanche and Maggie Jones made occasional appearances on the street, popping in for births, deaths and marriages. Together here in the sight of God, and in the face of... I don't think it was until the mid-90s, something like that, that she came in as the Blanche that we know and love and fear. <laughs> Mrs Hunt, as a matter of fact, but I can forgive you for wondering all the names she's had. She managed to keep the flag flying for non-politically -pol correct jokes and lines. College, it'll be full of homosexuals. The word is gay, mother. Another word hijacked by hippies and liberals. Those poor cripples. Blanche, you can't use words like that. You've married foreign once. You could have done it again and got a shop out of it in a divorce settlement. You're never happy. You're never satisfied. We beat up journalists for fun. So go no on. one was safe from Blanche's sharp tongue, but she saved her most withering comments for daughter Deirdre. Oh, hello. Here comes trouble. She was a constant source of embarrassment to Deirdre. 
Oh, why can't you be a proper daughter? All your life you've settled for second best. She just used to follow her around apologising to people most of the time. So sorry about my mother. <laughs> no, this is from a job interview. What job? Prostitute. Blanche. Mother! I mean, I like drinking. I love it, in fact. I mean, that's why I can't get... She may have been a thorn in Deirdre's that's side. Peter. Get tanked up. Mother! Lord. What? Don't be so... But having Blanche in the same room wasn't exactly a bed of roses for anyone else, either. As Ken and Peter found out in a comedy classic from 2009. Can I ask you something? Uh, well, we don't... They say that alcohol loosens the tongue. Well, you must have talked ten to the dozen with drink inside you. Yeah? It was Peter's AA meeting, but, but she, she kind of stole the whole thing, really. Is there some a correlation between how boring you are and how much you drink? Blanche. She dared to say things in there, in that meeting, that nobody else would have said. You want to get out more. Wait till you try bingo. You'll hyperventilate. And then she starts again, going on about her family. Uh, Ken recently had an affair with an actress. Oh, it wasn't Nicole Kidman or a Glenda Jackson. She lived on a tugboat. It was a barge. Is there any wonder why I drink? It was absolutely classic. Oh, no, I had to make sure that my humiliation was as public as possible. Oh, well, it isn't exactly the bar of the Rover's return, is it? Just as well, this lot a bit foaming at the mouth. But at least one of us is a lady. Outspoken, no-nonsense and brutally honest. Blanche didn't suffer fools. So, what's your poison? Strychnine. Met yours a double. And she definitely wasn't going to be a fool in love. I think over the years she's she's had her eye on a few blokes. I love you. <laughs> Though she was hard and brutal and, and honest and all the difficult things, she really was quite a sentimental old thing. Ugh. Blanche found love in the most unusual of places. <laughs> oh, it was after a funeral. I wrote complaining that one of the pole bearers had been chewing gum. Sunshine. Away. Theirs was a match made in the mortuary, and Archie the Undertaker stole Blanche's heart. I dreamt that you were by my side. <laughs> Archie Shuttleworth, what on earth do you think you're doing? Well, when I finished the song, I couldn't get up. <laughs> so, so Ken and everybody picked me up and took me into the house. And I was, I was crying, you see. And Maggie said, oh, dear, that must have hurt you. I said, no. I uh, said so it was my mum's favourite song. Very funny, because both of them, Maggie and Roy, were just so funny together. I bet she has you in stitches. I know she does me. <laughs> You're very quiet tonight. Am I? But her newfound happiness didn't last long, as Archie's eye started to wander. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Mrs Roberts, isn't it? Yes. Well, I'm afraid our relationship is now over. And Blanche was back on the market quicker than one of her trademark put-downs. Surely you can look Blanche Hunt in the eye and tell her she's dumped. <sighs> Poor Blanche was slightly elbowed out of the scenario. I don't think she ever possibly forgave Audrey for that. You know, but having Blanche and Audrey both chasing me, well, I, I felt like a footballer with a couple of birds. <laughs> but Blanche bounced back. Night, then. So if it's love you are looking for, then seek pastures new. Replacing Archie with Wally. Oh, here he is. Uh, look at you now, don't Who swiftly you. replaced her for her granddaughter. Hello, Mr. Bannister. Not so much look back in anger as look back in another bad mood. <laughs> One author, soon to be con artist later, and Blanche set her sights on someone much closer to home, Simon's other granddad, George. How's young Simon today? Uh, and you must be Deirdre, Ken's wife. Pleased to meet you. Blanche, um, obviously, uh, quite fancy George. Good company. Loaded. I think I'm in love. And got very dressed up. Hello, everyone. And, and the blusher. <laughs> she got rather too much on. She looked like she'd come out the toy box.